Hey everybody. How's it going? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's been a while, y'all. We have not done a date night. And the re why we haven't done it, what, baby? Uh, just life. Doing other stuff. Adding things and not taking away things. Yeah. Um, and we just got finished working out. Uh, we're on our way down to Freedom Park to walk, one of our favorite walk, yes. walks. Um, but the other thing, the reason why we haven't done it, now we have done date night, we've just been doing it inside. What's the last time we went out to dinner? Was it Webb? Well, maybe when we took Vanessa out to dinner for her birthday. When was the last time? We've been out to breakfast and stuff. When was the last time? That had to be when we went to web. When we met um, Teresa and Vanessa. Oh, when we went on our um when we our walk. Did our first date. When we redid really our first yeah. date and we went to Chili's. Yes, that was our last dinner date. But um the other thing is that this whole month of July we have made a commitment to re do our eating lifestyle. Um uh, our food choices. Uh, I'm doing keto, um, a carnivore diet. I'm, you know, it's best for me. Um, we're doing, we eating more according to our blood type. I'm blood type O positive, so red meat is best for me. When I eat a lot of red meat and cut down on the sugar and the carbs, that's when I see the weight loss. My baby here, his blood type is. A positive so oh Lord whatever's going on with them please cover them in the name of Jesus um, he's a positive so he's got he can't do red meat definitely he had been taking out pork um, got to cut back a lot on chicken and turkey so he, so it, realistically like a vegetarian lifestyle is probably best for him but he ain't doing that so um, so yeah so we're just trying to make better choices with our food and make it a lifestyle so we have been refraining from going out to dinner because it is tempting. So we've had date night at home. Thursday night we had date night. Last night we had date night inside. Um, of course, you know, we love our red wine, which is um, beneficial for the both of us um, according to our blood types. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we've been doing. Again, we just really been just like of course we've been building our businesses and working and just really been pressing in and so yeah so we've been here um but yeah so we just wanted to check in we haven't done a video oh we've been live we've been doing a series yes we've been doing a series on what we're doing a series on the fruits of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit. So last Tuesday, for the last three weeks, we've covered three, love, joy, and peace. And so this Tuesday, we'll be doing patience. Is it patience or hope? We've been doing next, baby. I think it's patience. Yeah, patience. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. So um, if this is your first time on our, um, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, if this is your first time on our platform, we're Terrence and Jill. I done, didn't even do that. But if this is your first time, this is Terrence and Jill. The God or Dang Union is a singles ministry. Um, our vision is quite simple. It, it's uh, how to help create more God or Dang kingdom marriages. Yep. And our mission is to help you, um, to assist in helping you to make room and to attract um, your person. All right. So I'm sweating y'all because we just did a, a a workout. We just went to the gym. We did a workout workout. Like I hit, I did hit H I I T, and I am drenching sweat. But now we're going to now walk. Um, going down to Freedom Park. So I gotta close off this. Um, anything you want to say, baby? Any encouraging words? Word of the day? I will say this. You know, it's. The one thing that we can do to make all of our lives simpler is just simply follow Jesus. Mm. If we just follow Jesus, 
and and just focus on him, then that makes everything else simpler because his word says that all we have to do is seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else will be given unto us. That makes things simpler for us. So rather than try to focus on handling things on your own or doing things the way you want to do it, how you want to do it, focus on just following Jesus and the example that he set and allow the word of God to handle everything else for us. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm glad you said that because it just sparked. Um, we were thinking about this week. I was thinking about this week. Uh, I forgot how, where the conversation stemmed from, but it was about purpose. And a lot of people are so confused because they can't find their purpose. They can't find their purpose. And the truth of the matter is, is that's why there is a big confusion. Because if we focused and follow Jesus, we are following his purpose. Our life is to follow his, what the purpose, his purpose, not our individual purpose. We could use our gifts and talents and skills to fulfill his purpose, but it's never our purpose. So those of you who are feeling like you're confused and you can't, um, get life right and you feel like you left behind and feel like everybody's doing their purpose and you're not doing your purpose as my husband said you know follow Jesus follow Christ it is his purpose that we're seeking follow him and then um and then you that's what you'll find the fulfillment all right everything you need God has put on the inside he's of already you. put if it you're on trying it. to find things externally you're already wrong you are you're already wrong, wrong. you're already you're already out of alignment so trying to look at what look internally look internally and um and 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 that's where that's where that's where it is so um we hope this blesses you don't forget to um catch us live on tuesday evenings 8 p.m eastern standard time uh, where we go live um and oh my god i'm drenching sweat like i love this i'm sorry i love this uh like i love when because i don't sweat so I know I'm doing something right when, when I sweat. But don't forget to catch us live. Um, our website, we took it down. It's, uh, we're redoing it. It's coming. We're going to get it back up. Um, but turn on your notifications. Um, subscribe. If you want to learn more about us, how we started, uh, go back to our very first video that we did three years ago. The very first video. And, um, yeah. So be blessed. And, um for the fellas out there. We're going to walk, as she said. This is something you might want to take an opportunity to try out. Not only going walking out here in nature, but take your significant other with you. I'm trying to tell you, it's nothing like being out here. The, the trees and the leaves create so much fresh oxygen. It just is so good for your body. And it allows you to walk, breathe, take deep breaths, but it also allows you to forget about all the other things that's going on. Just focus on enjoying the company of your significant other as you benefit from the benefit from what God has created out here. So think about going walking. I'm not saying hiking, but just think about going walking. Yes. It's an awesome thing to do with your significant other. Yes. And it's a great date. It's, that was one of our first dates. Um, um, uh, Freedom Park, when I used to come down here from Raleigh to visit Terrence and Charlotte, Freedom Park is a great, so going walking, even if it's just a, a little park, it's a great date night. All right, so we're going to get out of here because I am drenching with sweat and I need some water. All right, so you all be blessed and we will catch you all on Tuesday. All right, bye-bye.